Hello learners, my name is Brooke and I am one of the new AmeriCorps leaders serving at Spectrum this year. Welcome to another Science at Home video. Today we are going to do an experiment that demonstrates Bernoulli's principle, force, air pressure, gravity, and much more. All you need is a hair dryer and a ping pong ball or some other light object. If, and if you don't have those, no worries, you can watch the science happen through the screen. So first we're gonna wanna make sure the hair dries on a cool setting so it doesn't get too hot. Um, and let's get started. So first, you're gonna wanna turn it on and set the ping pong ball right here. Ooh. And you can try it at different settings, making it higher and lower. And you can also try it with different objects. you notice about the difference in positions of the objects? What happened when the airflow intensified and when it got slower? Well, this can all be explained by science. Air flows faster around curved surfaces than it does on flat surfaces. That's why you can see a greater lift in the ping pong ball versus any other objects that you use that might have had a flat surface. Did any of you try any objects that were heavier than a ping pong ball, like this one? You probably saw that there wasn't as much lift with the heavier object than the light object. This has to do with something called density. And density is the compactness or the heaviness of an object. So something that's more dense, such as this holiday ornament, probably had less lift than the ping pong ball. So you might ask why the ping pong ball is floating in midair. Well, this is because the hair dryer exerted a force on the ping pong ball that brought it up. And then the ping pong ball stopped when gravity, the force that keeps us all walking on the ground, was equal to the force um, exerted by the hair dryer. So how come when I move my hair dryer side to side like this, the ping pong ball doesn't fall off? This can be explained by Bernoulli's principle. Bernoulli's principle states that a speed of a fluid, which in this case is referring to the speed of the air coming out of the hair dryer determines the amount of pressure a fluid can exert. Well, that's kind of complicated, but generally this means as a fluid increases in speed, the pressure decreases. So if the air from our hair dryer increases in speed or it starts to go faster, the pressure would decrease. Objects naturally move from high pressure situations to low pressure situations. This causes the ping pong ball to stay inside the airstream, which has a relatively low pressure compared to the still air around it that has a relatively higher pressure. This is the same idea behind why and how airplanes fly. If you've ever seen an airplane wing, you can tell that the top of the wing is curved and the bottom of the wing is straight. And as we said before, air travels faster along curved surfaces and slower along flatter surfaces. And what we just learned about Bernoulli's principle is that the higher the speed, the lower the pressure. And so this means at the bottom of the wing, there is high pressure, and at the top of the wing, there is low pressure. And since objects naturally move from high pressure to low pressure, this is what lifts the airplane and makes it fly. Today we learned about Bernoulli's principle, gravity, air pressure, and more. Science is amazing. Thank you so much for joining us and we can't wait to see you for our next Science at Home video.